Welcome back again. This is a Limu TV, your favorite learning channel. And now we are almost exhausting the modes of transport. We have looked at water transport. We have looked at road transport. And today we are going to exhaust the modes of transport. Welcome to our history class. And this is Rojab. Now, by the end of the lesson, we need to get to know what are some of those developments that have taken place in air transport. And also, we'll get to explain some of the impacts of the modern means of transport. Now, air transport, it evolved, or rather it, it developed from that dis desire to dream, or, or rather the desire to fly, right? So man had that desire to fly. Right? So the desire to fly was a dream of mankind for many, for many countries. Now, the first object to be flown was a kit. Right? Now, I, 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 know, I, know, I know in our, in our, in our grade 1, grade 2, and grade 3, we were taught on how to make kites. Right? Now, those are objects that we could tie, tie a string and then we throw them to the sky and they could fly. Right? Now, that was the first desire of man to fly. So that was the first object to be flown. We had the kite. Then also from the kite, we had the first air balloon, right? The first air balloon was designed and built by two brothers. That is Jacques and Joseph, right? But however, they discovered that this air balloon could only flow for eight hours, right? So it could maintain on the air for eight hours. And it took, no, no, it took 20, 20 minutes by, uh, on, um, on a range of eight kilometers right now those were the two brothers who designed the air balloon it was a hot air balloon then also from the hot air balloon an aeroplane now was 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 designed however it flew faster than these air balloons and as we said earlier that these air balloons only lasted for eight kilometers taking 20 minutes but now when they developed an aeroplane it flew faster and it took more time on space now, also, from the aeroplanes, there is that demand to bring or rather to develop more faster, right, engines, right, more faster air engines. That is why we have developed the military planes, we have developed the gas turbines, we have developed the jet planes, all those military, military planes. This is as a result of man's desire to, to fly. Now, can you get to look at examples of the air engines that have de been developed so far? We have a jet engine, right? And as, as we said, a jet engine, mostly it is used in, or rather it is used by the military. Then also we have got the personal jet. There's that second jet there. We have got this famous, the US President Trump has got one of the expensive jets in the world, right? So it is a personal, is a, a personal jet. And also in the third image there, we can get to see an helicopter. And one thing we learn about a helicopter, it carries three to five, five people. So it carries fewer people as compared to a jet. And a military jet always it is used in in um, in warfare. And one of the countries that, that has got more advanced jets is Japan, right? Japan and Korea. They have the most the most advanced military military uh, jets. Now, can you get to look at what are some of the impacts of air transport? How has air transport impacted the population? One, it has promoted international trade, especially perishable goods. A good example is uh, from Kenya, we always export flowers, right? From Naivasha to this international market. Now, and we, as we know, flowers are perishable perishable goods, all the horticultural crops, they go bad within a shortest time. Now, Kenya has been able to transport or rather to trade the perishable goods to the international community with a lot of easy. Then also, it provides transport to inaccessible remote areas. Look at uh, when there is flood in, uh, in Trukana, right? Remember, we cannot access Trukana by, by road. We cannot access Trukana by by water now we use the air transport then also it has revolutionized warfare as countries are able to strike their enemies with precision the recent the recent strike was uh, when korea hit hit iraq recently right it was via what via air 
air, air transport. So they used the military jets to strike Iraq. And also, finally, it has enhanced emergency and relief services. For example, it is used to fly doctors in emergency situations. We have got this, this, this association we call the flying doctors, right? They mostly help people in the emergency situations. For example, during the times of flood, right? During the times of, uh, times of war, right? So talk of, uh, talk of this recent, uh, the hurricane in, uh, in China, right? So they used air transport to evacuate people from the, from the affected areas. Now, those are some of the impacts of air transport. And as we have seen, we have talked of air perishable goods. We have talked of uh, transport to remote areas. We have talked of uh, warfare. And also we have talked of giving relief services. Now, can we get to look at some of the international airports we have? For example, we have the JKF, right? Uh, that is um, in, in the US, that is one of the international airports. In Kenya, we have got Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Now, can you get to name other free international airports? So don't confuse an international airport with an airstrip, right? So those are two different things. Now, can we get to name the three international airports, you know, and also get to discuss the impact of air transport. How has it impacted? Now, for our reference, can we get to refer to Evolving World? History Form 2, as always, that is our reference material. And this has been Elimu TV, your favorite learning channel where you watch and learn.